My name is Matt Grimes, I'm a senior at Siena, and I've been working here for two years now. Um, we're a program in Troy, New York, we're funded through Catholic Charities, um, we're called Sunnyside Center, and so we partner with a local school, um, the public school, and we're kind of an alternative learning program, so once their school day ends, we kind of bus the students over here and work with them from 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock, doing different kind of activities, um, arts and craft, recreation, that sort of thing. And so um, it's really a great program because a lot of these students don't have the opportunity to learn and when they go home, you know, their, their school day ends there. So we think it's really important to be able to kind of extend their school day and allow them, you know, the opportunity to, to do learning in an tr untraditional way. Right, what made you reach out and ask for the Siena basketball team to come today and what's that experience been like? Well, just given the spirit of Siena and being a Siena student, I thought it would be nice to reach out to the community, you know, given the spirit of St. Francis and having them come and sort of give back to the community um, and to my community. And I just think it's been an incredible experience. The players have just been so great. Um, the children are really happy and excited that Siena was able to come. All right, thank you so much. Joined by Odie Anasicki, junior on the men's basketball team. Odie, tell us what you guys are up to here today. Uh, we're just here visiting the local uh, after school program uh, for my teammates. Uh, just came out to support a community that supports us so much. And what's the experience been like so far? Uh, it's been great. Uh, the kids are really receptive uh, to us. Uh, we appreciate all their support. Um, we, we just want to take this opportunity to come out and uh, express with them uh, in everyday life and the Santa Basel play. Does it bring back some old memories? Do you remember when you were this age and things like this happening when basketball players might come and visit you at your school? And yeah, of course. Um, you know, looking back on it, um, you know, it, it was always fun to see a high role model uh, come in and give me advice. So, um, you know, we try to give out um, as much advice as we can. All right, so growing up, I went to high school, like I said, in Staten Island, New York. I was on the basketball team there. Um, my high school gave me a great opportunity to go to college for free. Um, not only was, you know, that I applied myself to basketball, but I had to apply myself to the classroom as well. What you guys went throughout the year so far? Do you have any girls on your team? <laughs> <laughs> me too, bro. Give them out, but we don't give them so much stuff to them.